Hello, welcome back. I'm here with a little kind of dev vlog today, and instead of doing the normal vloggy thing where I collect clips throughout the month as I'm working, I'm just going to talk about what I've done and what it looks like and how I did it. Uh, I did film some clips uh, as usual, but my tripod is still broken. I really need to get a new one if I want to make <laughs> vlogs like this in the future. But but hello, I am Savalian. I make videos about games, development, and creativity. I've been working on an auto battler for PC where you summon cute little animals uh, to defend a wintry town. There's the town back there. And I've been working on this since the beginning of 2021. So the last update, I had previously finished all the features for my game, or so I thought. And from there I added a lot of visual stuff, and I redid this menu to make it easier to see things. Um, but basically, as I was working on this, I started to get this feeling again, and I get this feeling a lot, I talk about it in a lot of my vlogs, uh, that something is missing. Some of the core loops in my game didn't quite work uh, the way that I wanted them to work. And so um, I, I did another video, the Auto Battler, What Makes Auto Battlers Fun video. And as I did that research, I realized what I think is missing from this game. So I dropped everything I was working on with the vanity items and with the, the icons and the UI and stuff. And I went back to the core game mechanics to do a little bit more work. So I, I thought I was done, and then they dragged me back in, or whatever the meme is. And as I was doing this, I actually found like a newfound motivation for working on my game. Because I realized I was getting kind of bored with just adding visual stuff. I wanted to get my hands in the meat of the game and feel like I was making progress. And that's exactly what this did for me. So some of the things I really needed to do were make team building matter. Um, so previously, and also it still technically works this way, you could just summon whatever unit you wanted at any time. And it didn't really matter which units you used with which other units, with the exception of like, you probably want a tank at least there's someone to t take the damage. But the, the team building was really lacking, and I knew this, and in the past I tried to add an element system that didn't quite work. Um, so what I did for this was add traits. So you can see kind of the end result of the traits is that each unit, I added two to this one just because I didn't have all the icons I needed and I wanted to see that it looked okay with two. But you can see all of these critters have one little trait icon. I've put in some some text here for what I think they're gonna do. And the point of these traits is that if you have multiple units with the same trait, uh, they will create a sort of buff. And this description explains what the buff does. These are like synergies in, in TFT, in Just King, in um, the Dungeon Beneath. Like it's all, you know, it's a very common auto battler feature as I talked about in my other video. So to add these traits to the units, the first thing I had to do was go into my scriptable object for the units and add the traits there. So you can see I have unit traits. I got two on the armadillo. There's going to be more than the ones that you've seen so far. Um, basically what I did was I went through and I thought about what kind of traits I would want, and I ended up um, having the, this two-pronged strategy, where the first trait is going to be what kind of animal they are, so that one's easy. I've got mammals, aquatic, birds, reptiles, and mythical. I'm not totally sure about the, the reptile one, because I it's not going to include amphibians, obviously, because they're not reptiles. But I can't think of another word that would include amphibians and reptiles together. So I don't know if I'll put the amphibians in aquatic or, or what. But those are the ones I've got right now. And then I have a bunch of secondary traits that I don't have in the game here. Um, just because 
I need a lot more icons to show all these and I didn't want to just have a bunch of empty spaces while I work. For those ones it is focused on the class but it's a little bit more detailed than just like tank, DPS, and heals. I have like like a shield tank which I've just called shield I think. That's kind of like the armadillo where they absorb damage from a shield. Um, I have also like an evasion tank where they will have an increased dodge chance. I don't actually have any critters that do that. So that's going to be the next step is, is filling out that list and coming up with, with critters to fit into the list so that all of the traits I want to include actually have things that match them. And then we're going to want more, right? Um, so right now, if I add two of the same critter, it does increase the synergy. I probably don't want that because it doesn't encourage combining for if we're making a team. I don't know. I'll probably leave it how it is for now, fill in the, the roster a little bit, and then see if this is overpowered. Maybe increase the numbers if I leave it this way. Um, but what I probably will do is make it so that only one of these boars will count and then you'll need a different kind of mammal, so like the deer for example. Because this is how a lot of other games do it um, and I, I believe it's for balance reasons. That first step was adding traits to the units and I initially just had an enum for all of the options and I still do have that under the hood but as I as I went further, I realized I'm going to want to define an icon, a color, uh, I'm going to need to be able to define the synergy combinations, how many you need and what buffs they add. So I did additionally add a trait, scriptable object, and for anyone who doesn't know, scriptable objects are just, um, they're just items that you can define in files that hold information. And you can also give them a little bit of functionality, so like I could put some functions in here that can be used to, to interact with these, but for the most part it's an easy way to um, serialize your data so that you can define things at design time, you know, design, design the objects, design items, design characters, whatever you want, and then just load them in to the game and have that information saved. The downside to these is that they are a little bit difficult to test. Um, you can't instantiate them the way you can instantiate like a normal class. You have to use Unity's like special thing that creates a scriptable object. Uh, so it's a little bit tricky to deal with. The way I've gotten around this with some of my stuff is that um, there's like an additional class that just converts it to a normal class. Maybe a little silly, but it, it help, has helped me write uh, unit tests for things um, by doing that. I've gotten a little off track though. So we've, we've added these traits. I just have the two right now, the two that I needed. I'll add more later once I get those icons in and once I hammer out the effects that they're all going to have. And then I have the trait synergies list. So this takes uh, a trait and then it has the amount. So I have a, an entry for each rank of the, the trait synergy. Um, so this first one, mammals, if you have two mammals, and then when I have some text here, uh, at two, they all gain 10% max health. So here I have, um, I'm using my same buff system that I'm using for the player choices. So I, I talked about this a long time ago, actually. I still need to polish up this system here, but every couple rounds you can choose a buff and then apply it to a unit and that would be a choice here. The elements were here, but we don't have elements anymore. We don't talk about elements anymore. <laughs> um, but I also use this system to apply like temporary buffs or like a burn effect, things like that. So in here I put that it is a trait. This is so I can remove them when they become inactive easily. Um, this one is going to add max health. I have all of these options here um, that I'm, that I'm going to work into the system. Um, so some will increase the attack power of certain units, some will reflect damage, some will gain armor when they're hit. Uh, I, I took a lot of inspiration from old TFT synergies and things like that. But basically in here I can put 
uh, what the buff is when it occurs so here i have when they receive damage when they deal damage and so on that's just for calculating the numbers and stuff i have um, two options here there's a strength and there's a percent chance that i use for different kinds of buffs or effects or whatever and then um, for certain ones not choices but certain other types of effects will expire so when you burn an enemy they only burn for like five turns or three turns or something um, so this is the the buff that's applied and then here we define who receives the buff so mammals will buff everybody but birds will only buff other birds and they'll give them a, a chance to dodge so this is how i've set up the trait synergies and we can see this in the game where i've added that ui and that was the next piece was after i added the code there's a lot of ui that i had to update and it was really chaotic for me because i i didn't have a solid plan for how all of this would look a lot of it's kind of improvised so i first added the icons to the summoning cards and just an, a side note i'm going to be changing the shop so it generates a random set of critters to summon like like the tft market like a lot of the other auto battlers where it's random but i haven't gotten there yet so i've redesigned these little cards but i haven't filled the box I, i'm planning to have five options each time you re-roll and then like a re-roll button a level up button that's all going to be in the next update probably um but for now it just looks a little weird because <laughs> it's all spaced out um, but the first thing I added was these trait icons, and then I added a little note in this pop-up for what it does, so that when you're when you're new and you don't really know the different synergies and stuff, you can see what you have to work with, what you might want to do. I'm also going to change the shop so that it, as you level it up, it gives you higher level critters. So I put the level up here, it's just level 1 right now. Um, and then as you add units, you have up here, this UI is very similar to the elements UI that I had, um, just how many units of that trait you have on the board. So we have one mammal, one bird, now we have two mammals, and then, oh, I'm going to have to fix that so it doesn't uh, push, <laughs> it doesn't push the other ones down when I have this little details thing open, but that's kind of funny. You always find stuff when you're trying to show things off that you never found when you were testing it. That's just how it goes. But once it's active, you can see it's, it's highlighted, it's got a little border. When you hover over any of these, it will show you the, the rankings that are available. And that's just the text that you saw in the scriptable object. But that's how you can see the traits you have. You can also click, I've added it here as well. Um, you can see the traits in the top there, and instead of showing the traits again down here, um, what I'm going to do is, um, right here, this is how you assign choices. So if I just let them do a little battle, I should get a choice popped up. And this system, as I mentioned, is not really complete. Uh, it only shows you one. It's supposed to show a few that you can pick from. Um, but you apply the buffs here. Oh, okay. Never mind. I, I was surprised even though this is working exactly how it's supposed to work. So when you apply the favor, which is what I've just decided to call them, um, it shows here. And then I've just used text to show all the buffs available on this critter. And I'm going to change this. So we have the max health trait buff from the mammal synergy. And we also have passive healing that's coming from this one. So I need to make it so it doesn't show two for the same effect, basically. So I, I just want to show the, the passive healing with the, the little water icon for the choice card. Um, but in the long run, I'm going to need a lot more icons. I'm going to need to work on making them a lot more visually descriptive um, and, and make sure that the player knows what they mean. And then I'll be able to have them down here and then I'll probably do another like hover tool tip where it's like you hover on the max health one and it says how much max health they have in increased by when they have the passive healing one you it shows you how much passive healing they have and then 
another little thing I want is like a stat box somewhere. I, I was kind of thinking I would put it over here where it shows if they, instead of showing it up here, if they've received an attack boost, it shows the numbers of what their like attack damage is now. Something like that. But I need to make the unit details a little bit a little bit more useful and a little bit more streamlined because this is really important for giving the player uh, at a glance view of what they're doing and how their team is shaping up but I think this is a good start that's pretty much all I did the actual buffs should work with the exception of the max health I just I don't have uh, an effect implemented that increases their max health so I just need to finish that in the code um, but the other ones, like increasing critical hit chance, increasing dodge chance, adding passive healing, stuff like that, that all does work and it is in the game from when I did the choices. So, um, that's it. That's, that's the first step of making my auto battler more of an auto battler. Um, uh, it, it was in such a weird place for so long and now I feel like it's kind of, we're kind of getting to a point that makes a lot more sense. I think the game loop is going to be a lot clearer. And then um, in addition to notes about the the team building, I've also come up with a couple of ideas for long-term overarching progression. So that was kind of the other thing where I wasn't quite sure why is the player doing this? What's the point? Where's the game going? And I think I have an idea. I actually, it was, it was slightly inspired by Diablo and you'll, I think you'll see that as I explain it in a later video, but uh, I've come up with a reason and, a, and an end game kind of for the battles that we're doing and where they're leading and things like that. So that was my update. It was just the trait system. I actually busted most of that out in like a, a fever of development in the past couple days. I'm filming this on a bright shiny Saturday morning. I'm hoping to edit it and publish it later today, but it might go out tomorrow. We'll see. But I, I just have reignited my passion. I don't really love the word passion. I've reignited my, my inspiration, my desire to work on this game just by shifting my attention to the problems that I've been aware of for a long time and have kind of been ignoring. So just by f finding things that matter to work on, I've, I've really gotten that second wind, which I really needed. So the next update, I believe will be in updating that critter shop, finishing up the, the loop where you build your team and you kind of see the effects it has, picking different critters. I am going to need some more critters probably pretty soon. Um, I still haven't fully added the bear that I modeled and made made a couple videos about. Um, I need to add him in here. I started on a turtle during my subathon, or a tortoise rather, that was <laughs> a lot harder to make than I expected. Uh, gotta finish that up. I have some sketches that I made. I've got a lot to do, but I'm making progress. Thank you so much for all the support in this long, long game game project that I've been working on. It really helps to keep me going. Uh, but don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. I make videos about games, development, and creativity. I will be back soon with something, and I hope to see you there. Alright, thank you. Bye bye!